Now, today marks the start of 10 live Football League games in 10 days on Sky Sports at television first. The first of the 10 is Wolves against Nottingham Forest. Ian Holloway will be covering all of the games for Sky Sports. He'll be travelling around in One Direction's <laughs> tour bus. It's got style, Harry Styles. Uh, he's been speaking to Katie Matheson on board his temporary home before heading off to Molyneux. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's the first time I've seen it. Um, when they first suggested it, I didn't know what to expect, but it's, we're blown away. It's absolutely magnificent. Packed and ready to go? Yeah, that was a hard thing. Took um, a couple of days to try and get that. I got ten suits, ten, ten shirts, and then obviously I got other casual stuff to wear, lounge about on it in the day. OK, well, if you don't mind, we're going to have a little look inside and see what the bus is like. Yeah, please come and have a look. So, let's go. So your initial thoughts, Ian, on the bus when you saw it for the first time? Uh, a bit scary, the picture on the side. <laughs> Why anyone would want a pic picture of me that big, I don't know, but um, pretty useful for after Christmas, really, keep the kids away from the fire, I'd imagine. But um, no, it's um, when they said about it, I didn't know what to expect, and uh, I've been on a lot of coaches being a football manager, but th this is just something else, you know? Let me show you. Um, yeah, so I see we've got the, the master bedroom, is it, yeah. with the, the duvet, yeah, 10 and 10? Which is for Kim and I. Um, luckily, my wife can come with me for 10 days, so there we are, nice little lounge. Got um, Sky TV as well. Got to have, haven't we? Sh surely we got to have Sky, so it's on there. Got all sorts of things if you move back a little bit. Yep. This is... Uh, my, my kitchen. We got a shower and a toilet, the whole lot. This is where the singing happens. You got your actual shower in here. It does come down. A little bit of singing in the shower, yeah. It's yeah, very, it's very cozy, cozy in there. It's beautiful, yeah. Good job, I'm only a little fella, isn't it? <laughs> Perfect, right. Well, we walk down to the bottom of the bus. We just take our time if you come out. And we'll just make our way. Obviously, there's a few beds if you change your mind. Yeah, that's right. If, I have a, if we have a row, Kim and I, I think I could be bunking in one of these, but. Um, this is where One Direction were, I think. They're ah. obviously uh, small lads. <laughs> if you're six foot four, you never get in there. Keeping company with uh, with pop royalty. Yeah. And this is the other lounge, so you know we uh, again we've got TVs everywhere. So you know I, I can't believe it to be honest. I was worried at first. It was a, the driving and how am I going to get there? Because you've got a lot of preparation to do each different game, each different lot of players, and you've got to read up on them and you've got to know what you're talking about. So. If I was having to drive, it, it would have been probably impossible, to be honest. But it's the first time we've attempted it, and I, I feel really excited about it now as well. So I uh, can't wait, really. How do you think you're going to cope for 10 days on a tour bus? It'd be easy. I've had, I've had seven days in a VW camper <laughs> with no awning on the side, you know. So to me, this is absolute luxury. Yeah, but how, how lucky am I? I'm going to go all around the country, see some wonderful games, uh, talk about it, and... Um, and then have the rest of Christmas as well. So what more can I do? And, you know, the, what I'm looking forward to is, obviously, it's a little bit gregarious in your face, but meeting people. We're, we're going to get to places really early. We'll be travelling through the night, and we'll have sort of all that day to, obviously, hopefully people will come out and see us and we can have a chat. And I can understand what it's like to to give up your Christmas for your own team and get get the feeling of the fans and how they are because really that's who that's who football belongs to it's not chairman it's not managers it's not players it's the supporters without them you've got nothing so can't wait to meet them um i'm not on anybody's side anymore i'm t completely neutral so i'm really looking forward to the the energy i'm going to get through throughout this christmas 